join me on Instagram. Beautiful pictures for you guys and give you lots of good information so that you can prepare yourself well for PA school. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. Another weekly update, you guys. It is week 13 of PA school. Show up, show up, how you want. Technically, it's week 14. It's officially my first week of the fall semester, but we had a break last week, so it's week 13 of PA school because I'm only counting the weeks that I'm actually doing coursework. So guys, for those of you who were with me last week and you saw my white coat ceremony, oh my gosh, we had an amazing time. Um, if you haven't already seen it, go ahead and check that video out. I will leave a link for it in the description box below. But I had a great time. I did a little bit of this. <laughs> Um, took some pictures, uh, my family came down, um, took pictures with friends and just had a blast. I got a spiffy new white coat and I got to put it into action this week, you guys. So what happens is at my particular program that I love so much, we are able, we're partnered with like a free clinic and we're able to go into the free clinic from actually the first semester and see patients every Friday. Well, every, like in the first semester, it was maybe twice a month or ev or once a month, something like that, because we had a lot of groups, but we were able to go in and see patients with our professors, our preceptors, PAs, and we got to see them go through and talk to patients and figure out the chief complaint and um, diagnose the patients or figure out a new diagnosis that may have popped up, send the patients for consultations. So it was a really like invaluable experience. But this semester, this fall semester, now that we have our new white coats, show up, show up, how you want. Drop it, drop. we are able to actually go in by ourselves, well, technically by ourselves, with another student, with another PAS1, so a first year PA student, and see patients guys by ourselves like we just learned about like physical examinations and things like that and i was there seeing a patient on friday doing a physical examination on my patient because um they were complaining of like left sided ear pain like sinus pressure and needed like a refill on medications and things like that and it was cool because i'm i like i was like a pa i was a pa you guys i was there like seeing patients like that was so that's so amazing like it's an invaluable experience because i know that as the months go by this semester and then next semester because we'll also get to do it next semester and as my knowledge just kind of increases I'm going to be so prepared for clinicals when it comes to my second year. So I'm really appreciative of my program for allowing us to do this and the free clinic for allowing us to partner with them. And I'm just excited that I'm able to just experience this and learn from it. I was I did an air exam on her because she was complaining of her air. And so I looked in her air. It was a pretty normal air. A little bit of erythema redness. You know, see me using my medical terminology. <laughs> but um, other than that, it wasn't um, anything like serious. We also did look at some of like, you know, listen to her lungs, listen to her heart, just kind of did an HENT exam in a sense on her, just make sure that there was nothing else bothering her. But it was a little bit more focused because she came in for her um, like headache, sinus pressure and stuff. And then we, we almost got to do an IND, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was so excited, I was ready. I was like, oh my gosh, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to pass this scalpel? I'm ready for you. But it wasn't ready for me. The abscess was not large enough. So we could not IND it because um, we didn't know if it would have anything purulent coming out or anything of that nature because it was a little smaller than usual, like than the actual, like what you would do, what you would need it to be for you to actually IND it. But I was ready. I was ready for Dr. Pimple, Dr. Pimple Pepper. I was ready for you. That say that like three times fast. Dr. Pimple Popper. Dr. Pimple Popper. Dr. Pimple Popper. There we go. I was ready for you. I was ready to give you a run for your money, but still need a little bit more practice, I guess. But that was that was my week, you guys. Started fall semester. Of course, we got things that we need to study, and we have homework, like soap notes and 
you know, different types of notes that we have to write. But the highlight of it was definitely going to the free clinic and seeing patients and being a PA as a PAS, like I was really excited. So um, I'm glad that I'm able to share this with you guys. Definitely go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And go check out my Instagram because I am on Instagram now and I post pictures and videos sometimes of the things that I'm doing. So be able to see me while I'm doing that like in the moment as well, you guys, throughout the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Talk to you. Later!